It's like 45 minutes before a star and we're just hanging out before our family gets here for dinner. So this is my outfit for today. I'm wearing this asymmetric tunic that I stole from my sister's closet and paired it with some cream pants and a beige hijab and some gold accessories. You wanna show them the accessories? Sure. Okay. Here's the accessories and Anyway, I hope all of your Ramadans are going well so far. This is one of my few last days in St. Louis before I head back to Pittsburgh. I know Ramadan will be definitely different there, but I'm very grateful to be with my family right now. I get to experience both, alhamdulillah. <laughs> Sister Susie, looking so halal for Ramadan. So where's the outfit from? Summer's closet. Oh my god, that's literally hilarious because I'm wearing something from your closet. Oh Did you want me to get some balloons to decorate for Ramadan? And so, of course, I listened to her when got balloons. And then when I got to the car, they flew away. So I had to go and get them again. <laughs> so I'm watching my TikTok. Everyone go like my TikTok. Um, you know, Tweety going viral. I made another one. Wow, Go this watch bird. this one. I just posted it. Famous for having a pet chick. Yeah. Sad, are you going to sing something for us? Oh. Sing a nasheed for us? Oh. Bobo, what do we got here? Yeah, bro, bro, Arab. Yum. This is with meat. Mm-hmm. Very really fatty. Very delicious. <laughs> Auntie Sara coming through. <laughs> you guys, can we... Hey, where's the altar bowl? This one melted. <laughs> what is this? I'm so proud of you, Sara. What's this? I bet you my mother-in-law made this one. It's good taste test. Enough. Not crispy, but it's because it means it's not. But that's because it got um, it got soggy. Uh, thank you. These two uglies came wearing the exact same thing. Hideous. I'm do a little Q and A for you guys about me. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Um, yellow. What's your favorite pet? I like rabbits and cats. Um, are you the best sibling? Yes. No, no one asked you that, huh? Um, do you have the best fashion test? Yes. No. Absolutely not. And my Gucci bag. <laughs> what? So we're at the mall trying to find Sada some hijabi friendly clothes. Ever since she started wearing hijab, so oh, yeah, it's making it really hard for her to go anywhere without wearing a shirt and a t shirt every day. Um, that's what I'm wearing right now. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm in town to help her out and do some good oh my God, thank, charitable thank work God, for here. the needy. I needed oh her so bad. <laughs> I actually did pick out all the clothes I bought, so <laughs> it does help a little. Love the half talk. Show me. Turn the other way. Very nice. Well, how many hours will it start? Like three hours? I don't know. What is it, five? Yata. Fit the testimonies. Just finished shooting a skincare ad. I had to take off all my makeup, shoot it obviously. And it's like 7 p.m. I have to rush home and get ready for an iftar super quick. Just finished a live with the IC. Just talked about so many topics like modest fashion. I did have that Ramadan brain fog up a lot of the time. I feel like I could have done a much better job. What's up guys? Just running some errands. I wanted to go to Jamar prayer today, but when I got to the mosque, I've never been before actually here because it had been closed for COVID until now. And when I got to the mosque, it turns out you have to park on the street and it's in the city. So I literally went around for 20 minutes trying to find a parking spot. And by the time I found a parking spot, prayer was over. So unfortunately I didn't get to go inside. So I ended up just going and running some errands. I don't know if you guys are like this, but if you're running errands while fasting, you end up spending like 30 minutes just sitting in your car after you're already parked and just, you know, figuring out when you're gonna go down because you're just so dizzy. But I am it up for everything, you know, can't complain. I have like post office, FedEx, UPS, the whole trio. The thought is in like five hours, which is kind of sad because you'd think by being out all this time that it'd be closer than that, but Oh well. Our daughter is around 8.08 p.m. in Pittsburgh. In St. Louis, it was actually a little earlier, like around 7.35. That was nice, but we also have a later her time cut, so I guess it makes up for it. I'd totally rather have the earlier of flower time. I mean, like nobody, I don't, I barely even eat Sahara. Three dates and water and go back to bed. I actually find that eating only three dates instead of having a full out meal keeps me fuller during the day. For some reason, if you eat a full meal at Sahara and go back to bed, you end up waking up super hungry because you burn that in your sleep. Whereas if you eat dates, you just get like super hungry around 6, 7 p.m. And then, you know, you're like, okay, just an hour left to eat. So it's okay. Okay. But anyway, I hope all of your Ramadans are going really well and you're making the most of this month. I'm gonna hang up on y'all and just play some of my favorite nasheeds. You know me on my nasheed playlist this Ramadan. I mentioned earlier my other video and nasheeds are, they're just like spiritual music. The cool thing about this shirt is that you can actually take this button here and put it here. 
I don't know if I like it though, if it's giving me like maternity vibes, you guys let me know. I just got back from taking my first dose of the COVID vaccine and I can't get myself to wake up. So you're going to want to grab a bag of coffee. You're going to want to open the bag of coffee. That is how you trick your brain. I only do this in urgent situations. One of my favorite things to do while fasting is read a book and not just any book, but unfortunately a cookbook. I love collecting these Middle Eastern cookbooks. I just love making myself hungry for no reason. These are my top three favorite books. It's called Beradi, which is um, Palestinian cuisine. And then I have Our Syria, which is Syrian cuisine, hashtag cook for Syria, which is more of a Syrian inspired cookbook. You know, either a little bit more upscale for fine dining restaurants or just adding another element to them. You want to see how they presented the food mdemas. They're honestly so helpful for when I'm out of ideas on what to make because I literally will open this book and be like, hmm, okay, so what do we have at home that I could work with because I don't feel like leaving the house? Like, look at these beautiful kebabs. Ooh, okay, I made this other day, the shishperak, which is just like dumplings and yogurt. I also wanted to show you guys this really cute crescent thing I found at Home Goods, and I put dates in it so that, I don't know, it feels a little festive in the house. Hey guys, I just got with Batur. She's been interning with me for the past few months, and we're gonna shoot some Ramadan content around the U Pit campus area. The Batu just came out of the exam looking super fresh. Uh, very summer vibes. <laughs> yeah, it's actually very hot today, it randomly. Is. And it was it was snowing the other day. Yeah, it doesn't even make any so sense. Weird. Pittsburgh weather is weird. Yeah. I still don't get it. I've been living here forever. Uh, yeah. Currently downtown, heading to a little girl's get together for a star at a restaurant. And I brought my own dates because you never know when your food is gonna come or not. I like to come walk over to the riverside here and catch up on my Quran reading or listen to a podcast or even just FaceTime my sisters and just look in that good nature. I have FOMO if I don't go outside on a beautiful day. There's a lot of things that happen in Ramadan that are not in this vlog, between star parties to going to the mosque. The plane is flying over great. Oh, it's actually a helicopter. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'm gonna go finish up reading in order to finish it in time. So some days you have to like really catch up or other days you're kind of lagging. It's like that sometimes. I don't know what I'm gonna do for a vlog today actually. Bye!